In this video, we will find out how to register in federated tournaments and local tournaments happening in India. So first, let's see how to register in a rated tournament, how to find out which are the tournaments happening around you and register in them. So to find out federated tournaments happening in India, you have to go to the AICF website, which is www.aicf.in. So once you go there, you will see different options and out of the options, you can select slash all hyphen events and you will be taken to the AICF calendar. So let me show you the AICF calendar that is available right now. So we go to AICF website, AICF.in. This is the home page. Now you will see here calendar. You have to just go to calendar and click on all events. ASCF.in slash all iPhone events slash. You can just go here. And this is the list of all tournaments happening in the near future and near past and the present. So if you scroll down right now, I'm recording this video in, on the 30th of November. So if you want to see tournaments happening uh, in November, December or Jan of next year, we come down all the way. Here you can see the tournaments in December starting from here. This one is for physically disabled in Karnataka. This is in Assam. So you can scroll through, browse through these tournament lists and figure out which is the one that suits your playing preference, location and uh, other features. So for example, if you see here, this is state rapid championship. Rapid tournaments are very uh, uh, small as in short lived, like two days is this tournament. Some rapid tournaments would happen for just one, one day. So rapid tournaments will only get you rapid rating, FIDE rapid rating. So if you go to my FIDE profile, I've got blitz rapid and standard ratings. If I play in rapid tournaments, I'll get rapid rating. The main thing is your standard rating for which you have to play in classical tournaments, standard tournaments. So let's see some uh, standard classical tournaments that are going to happen in January. You can see here, this is in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Scion Group International Rated Tournament. It's for four days, 24, 25, 26, 27. And if you want to know the details on how to register, you can just go to the brochure over here and click on download. When you go here, it'll become available and you click on that and it'll get downloaded. And then you can follow the registration procedure and join. Now, the most popular for new players or uh, like hobby players who are not that serious or at the top level are the 1600 tournaments, below 1600 rated tournaments. Those are tournaments only for players below 1600 rating. For example, if you see here, there is a below 1600 tournament happening in Mumbai, three day tournament. And then this one is in Udaipur. They conduct tournaments very regularly in Udaipur, Lake City Open. It's for below 1600. The tournament I am planning to play in and I've registered is, if you scroll down here, Delhi International Open Tournament. There's category A, B, C. So these tournaments which have category A, B, C are like big, big events. So this is for from 17th to 24th. But that's for category A and B. For category C, just for three days. It's 25, 26, 27. Three days tournament. So this is a classical event. You can also see indoor international open, open happening on 26th of Jan. So this is how you can find tournaments and register in them if you by just going to the, the brochure. Now, if you want to know in detail how to register in tournaments, I have included a couple of videos at the end of this video. You will see two videos pop up where I've explained how to register in a tournament. And also one important thing is before you play in any of these tournaments, you have to register at AICF. You have to go to AICF website and before you go to events, you will see the home page and here you have to go to player, new player registration. If you're new, you have to click on this one and then it will ask you for all the details and you have to enter your birth certificate over here or uh, here birth certificate, passport size photo here. If you don't have your birth certificate, you can also include any document like driving license or other which has your birth date. That's all. So once you do this, your registration in ASCF will be done. If you want a detailed uh, explanation of this, 
I have a, a video at the end of this video, it will pop up and you can go through the procedure. Next, if you do not want to play in a serious tournament, uh, tournament that involves a lot of time and money, if you can also play in like local tournaments, which would be like for one day or two days happening around you. These tournaments are usually not rated. So if you want to find out the tournaments around you, which are not rated, you can go to your respective state's chess uh, federation homepage. So for example, for Karnataka players, if you want to find tournaments around you, you have to just go to karnatagachess.com. And if you are in Tamil Nadu and you want to find tournaments in Tamil Nadu, the website is tamilchess.com. So I'll show you uh, how to find out tournaments on both these, both of these uh, websites. If you want to, if you are from another state and you want to find out uh, what is their uh, tournament calendar, you can just uh, Google your state and chess tournaments, and you will find out their homepage, and you can find out the tournaments from there. Their calendar will also have rated tournaments included in it, but you can find out from the dates. So this is the Karnataka Chess website. And once you go here, karnatagachess.com, you can see here events. You can click on events and then tournament and you will find out the upcoming tournaments. This is in December. So most of these are rapid tournaments. Like this is a rapid tournament on December 10 to 11. Karnagada State Rapid and Blitz, December 3 and 4. You'll also see like rated tournaments coming up here. This is this, this rated tournament. It's for five days. Below 2300 Federated Amateur Championship. And then you will also see tournaments in the next couple of months. Schools Championship. This is a rapid rated event. I see a fourth, fifth Bangalore. So this is how you can plan accordingly by playing in tournaments around you. Now, if you are from Tamil Nadu and you go to Tamil Chess, tamilchess.com, you will see calendar over here. You click on it and this will appear. And here you can see what are the tournaments coming up. This is in Jan 2020. So we go down. You can see here. This is the rated tournament we just saw on the ASEA webpage. Simon Group International Rated Tournament for four days. And you can see state level tournaments. And you can download the brochure once you click on that uh, tournament. And then you can register accordingly. You see here, this is this is the link to register uh, to download the brochure over here. So let's go back. And this is for the next year. Now, regarding fees for all of these tournaments, they have separate like different uh, fees. On an average, a federated classical event would cost you 5000 if it is for like five days or three days and it's a top level event like the delhi delhi tournament then it will cost you around 5000 if it is a small tournament like a three day tournament but still classical and the facilities are not that great like it's not at a stadium or if it's just a normal tournament then it will cost you around 3000 to 4000 a three day classical tournament a rapid tournament would be around 1,000 rupees. A one-day tournament or a two-day tournament could be around 1,000 rupees, a rapid tournament. So it does cost you some money, time, and energy to play in rated tournament, but it's worth the effort. So if you are a new player looking to find out tournaments and register in them and play in them, this is how we can find out about tournaments happening around us.